Big South, Little Big, Little Big, W, and Number Big, Chin, Chin, Softy, Buffy, and Toby, Forgot to Meta, Klein, and Shimony, Big South, Potter, Boiling Water, and the Wolf, and the Eat with Soup. Tomorrow, War and Peace. Got that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? <laughs> this is a review of the Google Pixel 4 recorder app and its real time AI driven auto transcription. I pit it against a courtroom stenographer, one of the world's fastest talkers, and a handful of people with different accents to see how accurate and fast the transcription really is. Sure, there are loads of transcription apps, but this is all done in real time. As you talk, the words are instantly transcribed using machine learning, and it's done entirely on the device. Even when you cut the Wi-Fi and cellular connections, it works, and it works well. Of course, Anita Trombetta, a trained stenographer, doesn't need an internet connection either. She types 260 words per minute on her special stenotype machine. Now to the tests. I had everyone read three passages. To be or not to be, spoken by Hamlet, Act 3, Scene 1. On the business and finance uh, column on the Wall Street Journal. And I'll be reading some Google terms and conditions. Test one, me. We want you to understand the types of information we collect as you use our services. We collect information to provide better services to all our users. The real-time transcription is so snappy and it even inserts punctuation, at least with sentences it seems to understand. Things it has trouble with? Shakespeare. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, Anita, on the other hand, has a grasp of Shakespearean English. Test two, Fran, the fast talker. Because Fran can speak faster than she can read, we first tried her Three Little Pigs rendition. Are we ready? Yes. Here we go. What's the time that three little pigs, one little pig like to sing, the second little pig like to dance, the third little pig like to sit and think, little big big wolf camel, little big little big dummy, and not big big chin chin chin, after my voice is off the wolf, woof woof, what's the next big house, little big little big dummy, and not big big chin chin chin, softy wolf, woof woof, what's the third big house, little big little big dummy, and not big big chin chin chin, softy wolf, and Toby, I've got some medical and the chimney, big set of boiling water, the wolf will need with soup. Tomorrow, war and peace. Got that? Yes. The pixel didn't even know those were words. And to be fair, no one understands what the hell she's saying. On Fran's reading test, though, both fared better, even at her insanely fast pace. To be and not to be that is a question, Mrs. Dumbledore, mind to stuff those things that outside rage you for, take arms against the seed, trouble opposing in them, to die, to sleep, them more by sleep, to save me in the heart again, the thousand natural shocks that flesh is dead. Google missed some words, but so did the stenographer. I find like thy orisons be all my sins remembered. What was he saying? Test three. I gathered a mini United Nations of people together to see how well the phone would understand English in a variety of accents. I love the law's delay, the insolence of office and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietest make with a bare bodkin. The people who, click, who matter most to you online are which YouTube videos you might like. The information Google clicks and how the, that information is used depends on how you use our services and how many manage our privacy controls. So I'm reading Shakespeare, To Be or Not To Be, spoken by Hamlet. It is Act 3, Scene 1. And go, okay. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles. All right. From figuring out basic stuff, like which language you speak, to more complex things, like which ads, you will find most useful. So what did we learn here? Well, that Google's AI transcription is damn impressive. If you don't have a Pixel, the Otter app for iOS and Android is an option, though not as good or fast as Google's service. Or you could just get yourself a stenographer. Ah, you're recording, you're recording. Listen, just don't record when I don't want you to record. I, I don't want you transcribing, but I don't want you to be like a sneaky little spy thing that's all around the place. 